One of the consoles I grew up with besides the NES was the Atari 2600 and its massive collection of games. So today we're going to look at nine of my favorite Atari 2600 games. So before we begin, I'm going to state this. Compared to today's games, or even games 10 years ago, the graphics on these games will look like trash. But remember, these games were big in the 1980s, and some of these were actually arcade ports that didn't turn out well, such as Pac-Man. Anyway, let's begin. This game is just plain fun. Take the game Space Invaders, get rid of the barriers and the bowling pins set above the alien ships, and replace them with flying demons, and you have demon attack. As you progress through the levels, the demons get a bit more craftier as they attack you. This game is simplistic and fun at the same time. You have to go all over the land, finding different colored keys to open various castles, all the while avoiding the dreaded dragon chasing you. This game is challenging and fun at the same time, and it holds one of the first video game easter eggs. This one calls back to the old arcade days. This game is simple. You have to work your way through the game while avoiding evil robots who try to attack you. The funny part of this game is when you touch the walls, you get electrocuted and die, but you can use that to your advantage. Since the robots head towards you, all you have to do is stand at one end of the wall and watch them die trying to kill you. This game is fun as well. You are a helicopter who has to shoot at other helicopters as they attack you. I like this game because it's one of those games that gives you the ability to turn forwards or go backwards, allowing you to shoot at things coming from behind you as well as in front of you. This game is fun and is kind of an early version of one of my favorite NES games, Galaxian. However, this game also has a lot of enemies to shoot at as well. This is another one of those games that allows you to turn forwards and backwards and fight enemies in front of you and behind you. This is one of those bad arcade ports, but still fun. Basically, it's like the arcade, but rather dumb dumb graphics, but it's still fun to play. This game is so good, it's fun. All you have to do is shoot at missiles falling down at you, and you have to use the cursor to blow them up as they keep falling down. This is one of those mindless games that all you have to do is just watch the screen and hope you keep the missiles from hitting the ground. They get faster and faster as you progress through the levels. Here is another one of those arcade ports that didn't turn out well, but it is still fun. However, this one actually just did dumb dumb graphics, but the gameplay is basically the same. You still are a frog who has to hop across the street and hop from floating lily pads and logs to get to the top of the screen and keep doing it until you fill all the slots. Okay, this one has been ported all over creation and is fun. However, the Atari 2600 version is a bit hard to look at, but it's still fun to play. You are spying in a car who is tasked to shoot down spies who try to kill you, while avoiding oil puddles and other obstacles. Now, the one version I, of this game I do like is the one on the NES version. So there you have some of my favorite Atari 2600 games. Now, I know I've left some good ones out like Pitfall, but that might be for another video. What are some of your favorite games from the Atari 2600? Let me know down in the comments. Also, if you like this video, be sure to button mash that like button, and don't forget to mash that subscribe button as well, so you get the heads up of our next video. Until then, I'm Paul saying peace out, and stay frosty.